Hello everybody, um, it's Ava Beva. Happy Valentine's Day from when I'm recording this. Um, I want to give a discretion towards this animated video. This does contain topics of sex and discussions around uh, prejudice revolving around sexuality and even just marginalized identity, especially when it comes to modern day situations people have to go through. Um, this is a very nuanced thing because this is following up with Titanium, who's able to have their first experience having sexual relationships okay. with other human beings. Um, but this is going to the perspective where she's able to embrace and embark on these things with her guardians that she's with. And this is a very sensitive thing because the idea of being able to explore these topics and be essentially free with those close to you is something that's, you know, openly seen as being very hostile and even predatory. Um, but a lot of these, a lot of these things that we tend to taboo usually tend to revolve around, revolve around sexual, um, tend to revolve around the alienation of sex and sexual relationships being a vital or even important thing to, to necessitize. And so this is meant to be titanium, being able to be open about these topics from her own culture towards Hope, who is one of the many humans within his life, which are amazingly uh, comforting and even accepting towards his own nuance as a bayou newt. Um, with that being said, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And remember that your sexual journey matters, your heart matters, and anything that you're into or anything that you wish to explore just on a just on an emotional level is something absolutely valid. Don't ever be ashamed what steps you're taking. And especially as marginalized individuals, whether you be BIPOC or LGBTQ, disabled, or come in any kind of shape or form or size that goes against uh, common odds. It's important to validate what these things mean, even on a systemic level too, and you know how these things are built on an institutional perspective. Um, but you know, stay strong, and I'm really proud of you. Peace. <laughs> what is that? That was really good. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what the light out here. Kills me in a bar on the neck. Mm. It's so Gonna make me tear up already. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for letting me talk to you whenever I need it. Uh, I can get nervous sometimes even here. It's never been easy for me, I would say. You call me, you know. Implied or should have humiliated. It's never something fun for me to endure, especially as a sex worker. That's such lack. I think that's really lack. It took a lot for me to, you know, own up to the fact that it's something that I really wanted, and also something that I needed to advocate for. Not only as just an individual, but as someone who was a parent. I'm not even. I get scared a lot of time because I, these things are right. normal for me, but it, it's something else when you go up on the streets. You're so open about who you are and I 
even now it's not easy for the pioneers at all. Just like it wasn't always easy for black people or Asian people in this country, it's never been easy. The conversations evolved, but we still have to go through so much just on a systemic level. And the pioneers only got the rights that they've obtained just very recently in our history. So there's going to be a lot of species and some on our streets. Yeah. yeah, it's always been like that in the city. Like pe people are conditioned to be more tolerant, but they're still going to have a lot of prejudice around here. It's so diverse, that's why we have an advantage. That makes me so upset. <sighs> Including people were always ever supportive of this kind of stuff. Even the Sigma? Oh my god. <laughs> That's surprising. There was so much identification around black women in this country. It, even that alone, I've life. There's so many times where I was called ratchet just because I just needed to, I just needed to feel wild and free. And now it's just because of how my skin, my diet. Okay. okay. It's scary because it's, you want your own children to know that you know, anything that they wish for should be considered normal. But you inspire me so much just because that norm is already there for you. And I don't, I don't want you to feel like it's... I don't want you to feel that significant. It's a huge thing that you're present in our lives. You deserve to be here. Your little sister does too. Oh, thanks. Being sexually embraced should never equivalent to being a materialized person. But that should be like that. It's so hard. <laughs> Are you okay? You're really wise. And that's why I feel safe talking to you. It's something else when I talk to you. That was cold. So many things growing up. Oh my God. And to be a small person, it's, it's something else. And to you. I remember when I got married to uh, Lily, and I was able to part with Quinn. There's something else able to see me. And then we met um, Sigma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. I was, I was a, a pain. The little pretty thing that I was happy. Yeah. And with them, they were so nervous talking to me. <laughs> and so many things flood your head in that kind of moment like, what are they really thinking? Do they, do they see me as like some kind of caricature or something? But they're just nervous because they've just never been to a private orgy before. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Another <laughs> five minutes, sir. <laughs>
That's like an average Tuesday. Yeah, we'll be old. That's a lot. You want people to embrace you without othering you. That's the biggest importance. I agree. Things are always going to evolve, but discrimination is a nuanced thing, whether or not it's ever going to disappear the way it is. Only recently, like, like the bad people just about to bring their tits out in public. <laughs> not just in, not just in like New York City, but but so many places in the country. And it's not even just like a level of like festivals or anything like that. It's it's just a basic human right. Like cisgender men. Says a lot. It's okay if you don't, if you feel scared. <laughs> like, even when I'm telling people online, you know, advice on, on any kind of like fetishes or shit that they like, I, I'm terrified. Cause I don't know how some people can react sometimes. You are like a son to me. You're my son, my daughter, and everything in between. If you're cool with that, of course. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, but... Now you're always free to talk to me about anything, and... You know... You have being those... You, you, you have those I got kids in your life. It's, it's, it's awesome. I can always... And I'm, I'm not an AI, so I, I can't speak on their behalf, right? But I can speak as a human person, what it means is it endorses relationships in a way that's healthy for you. They're really good at sex. <laughs> it, it's really awesome for me having that in my life, right? Hey, don't, don't be afraid to ask. Okay. I'm just okay. taking a bath and stuff. Okay. That's cool too. You, you feel really confident just walking in and it's not like a. You don't feel ashamed of doing that. I try not to be, especially with humans. You guys have so much spice towards our culture now. <laughs> You're cool with saying that too, right? Yeah. We are very spicy. I just want to make sure because I don't want to feel like I'm... Um, yeah. <laughs> We're safe in this household and... It's good to be a lawyer to many marginalized people. But you're main... You're, you're literally named Titanium. <laughs> <laughs> My Zeb chose that name because it symbolizes a warrior spirit. It's cool to see how things align like that. It's literally in metal. <laughs> if you want everyone to join in, you know. It's absolutely okay. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too. You're awesome. What do you use for your skin? It's, it's like... Oh, it's like a... Oh my god. Fabulous. Fabulous cream. You gotta say it with the quality. Yeah, yeah, different things we need for skin too. <laughs> Your butter being more commercialized. <laughs> I always thought it smelled like dessert, and I tried eating it at some point, and I realized I wasn't supposed to. What? Yeah, my stomach is fine. In human translation, you are built from titanium. <laughs> you 
and you make me proud to be who I am so much. I like pussy people. You're a good person. I'm thankful for you. I'm ultra thankful for you. Yeah. <laughs> My type of boy, child. <laughs>